world and welcome to another video. My name is Mamie and today we are going to be painting my nails. I've been growing them out a little bit. My nails are currently the longest length that I can sort of function with. If they get any longer than this then I end up snapping them back because I do quite a lot of stuff with my hands. I've got secondary camera running so let's jump straight into it. Hello! Two cameras. So I've got my colours lined up here. I'm going to be doing a rainbow style. I've seen a couple of videos online. People sort of doing like a French tip, but the tip is a fun colour. So I was thinking of doing that. So let's do it. First of all, I'm going to be using this Barry M. It is a uh, base and top coat with nail hardener. I don't really need my nails to be hardened but um, I bought this, so I'm gonna use it. I should probably foreshadow the fact that I'm not a nail technician. This is the first time I've ever tried this nail varnish application look, whatever you wanna call it. So things are probably gonna go wrong, but I'm giving you more of an accurate depiction of what it will look like if you try this for the first time, <laughs> like I'm doing. So, base coat, I mean, it must be semi-dry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be taking this detail brush, this line brush, I don't really know what you want to call it. I've got two cameras, I should probably show it to you. So, I'm going to be using this to put the first line down. I'm going to be using this lovely coral colour. I've had this for a very, 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 very long time, like all of my other Rimmel products. Reason being... I discovered that Rimmel was not cruelty free. I stopped buying new products of theirs. So I'm just gonna put a dollop of that in here. And then I'm going to use my detail brush. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to do this. There's so much stuff everywhere. Can you see? I don't know. The lady who did it on the internet did a much better job than me. Um, okay, well, there we go. <laughs> That's that part done. And then she gets the big brush and then she just sweeps it round. easier than I expected. Now I'm not sure whether to now go on to try and do my thumb on the other side. I'm, I'm gonna do, oh dear, I'm gonna do, try and do my other hand which is preferably going to be entertaining for you because this is my non-dominant hand. Now let's see if I can get you to line up. Oh goodness. This is not going to be easy or fun. Oh yeah, great. Come on, dominant hand, help. <sighs> this is bad. Oh great, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a perfect line. <laughs> As opposed to that. Slightly better. Okay. Is it just going to be easy to do this than use the detail brush? I think probably. So I'm going to just try and do the yellow without the detail brush. Let's see how that goes. I have got nail varnish literally everywhere on this thumb. That was very easy. That was very, very, very easy. Did you see me do it? I don't know if you could see because I wasn't paying attention and that's my fault. But that was super easy. So that's how I'm going to do it from now on. <laughs> and I will do one hand and then I'll do the other. Okay, now I've got this. Bourgeois. So, black wool glossy. Whatever that means. Again, 
shaky shaky oh it's got a ball in it <laughs> how exciting oh quite a thin brush nice now i'm going to be using this blue color And then finally, little baby pink. You won't have been able to see any of that, I just realised where my hand was. Okay, well, I mean, the first two were pretty neat. <laughs> you can't really see that pink, can you? Hmm. Maybe the lady had the right idea when she did the little detail brush. I'm gonna have to do some major clean up on these. So, how is everyone? How, how, are you, how are you doing? How's it going? I've got some fun video ideas that I'm looking forward to showing you after I've recorded them. I've got a bit of a big project that I'm going to be working on pretty shortly. It's a bit more arty than my usual stuff. How are they looking? What do you think? I can't really see. Not real close up just yet. They look okay. I'm going to do the other hand now and then I'll wait for them to dry and then I'll do the clean up and after that I am going to be using a top coat it is um, this plump one I don't really have like a, a hierarchy of nail varnishes I'm not really like brand loyal with nail varnishes I do like Barry M I do think they're all right I'm trying to say like I'm not like snobby about what nail varnish I use clearly I'm gonna do the second one of this for my left hand that's actually pretty decent to be honest <laughs> not that much different <laughs> right okay well that's way too thick and the problem with it being thick is it's more likely to chip eee by gum oh no okay so the problem is <laughs> You want to make sure when you're doing nail varnish that you're not putting a really massive thick coat on. If you want it to last any length of time, you've got to do multiple thin layers as opposed to one giant thick layer. And that's not what I've done here. So I'm under no illusions that this one is just going to disappear quickly. great yep that's fun oh no oh okay well that's gonna take ages to clean up but that's okay that's all right <laughs> I have also just smudged this little finger this little piggy <laughs> I'm trying so hard <laughs> oh dear I'm not anchored down I think that's one of the the problems is that I've, I've not I'm not anchoring myself Okay, that's okay. That'll do, pig. <laughs> I don't know if this is entertaining in any way, shape or form. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Ugh. Nice. <laughs> I mean, if you're enjoying this in any way, shape or form, please do give this a thumbs up, but um, I'm not sure if that's actually ever going to happen in this video because, my golly. Right, I'm just moving these out of the way because I need my, this hand to be here. What was I going to say to you? Oh, what would you like to see in the next video? Would you like to see me try a whole new genre of video? Because I've been really, really, really getting into commentary videos. 
finding them very, very, very entertaining. So um, it would be a, a shock to me if other people didn't find them great. So I was thinking of maybe doing um, a commentary video. Ugh. I'm so sorry, that's awful. Maybe I shouldn't speak while I'm trying to do this. <laughs> maybe that's the problem. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about doing like a commentary video or would you like me to test some makeup? Or would you like me to test the Shein business? <laughs> the, the last videos. Shein items. Because I've got a list of things that I want to do, they're all on the list. But if there's anything that you guys would like to see sooner rather than later, I've just accidentally touched. So this is how easy these easy uh, nail varnish trends are. It depends on how ambidextrous you are, is what I'm gathering from this. How used to doing these sorts of things as well, I guess, is... Like, I am not used to doing French tips anymore. I used to be pretty good at French tips. Um, which I think is why my left hand looks decent fairly decent is probably a better way of saying it okay i'm just gonna try and get this done as quickly as possible because um there you go great amazing it doesn't look like i've got big clumps of nail varnish on the tips of my fingers <laughs> oh <laughs> It looks like I've dipped my fingers in paint with this hand. Great. Look how bulbous these are. Nice. Cool. Well, I'm going to let these dry for a minute and then I'll probably do a time lapse of me cleaning them up because it's going to take a little while, I'm not going to lie. And uh, I might need to do some touch ups while I'm at it. There is accidentally nail varnish all over this table, which I also need to remove. And um, yeah, and then we'll put a top coat on and I'll see you in a bit. I don't know if I did a good job on that, but that this is what they look like cleaned up. Mm-hmm beautiful so now i'm gonna plump it up plump it up it says you're supposed to shake it so that's what i'm gonna do and then i'm just gonna put a thick coat probably not actually a thick coat i'm just gonna put a coat on so one of the main reasons that I've heard of people doing this kind of nail art, namely it just being sort of towards the tip of the nail or from the mid length of the nail to the tip of the nail, is because it helps the look of the nail as it's growing out. So it's kind of there to, to last the longest, I suppose. Now, the problem I've got with that is that my nails always chipped at the tip but yeah, anyways, th this is what my nails look like. The these. What do you think? I like them. <laughs> I'm gonna wear them for a few days, see how they go. I'll let you know on Instagram how long they lasted before they started chipping. I'll probably give like a before and after photograph on there at some point. Um, and I'll let you know the amount of days until the destruction occurred. Like I was saying, I do use my hands as tools. I'm really bad at not using them, you know, like to uh, take off labels or find the edge of the sellotape or whatever. Like I do use my nails quite a lot in my everyday life. I'm not the type of person who cares enough about my nails to not do that. So the, this is the end of the video. I would like to thank you so much for watching and as I said earlier please do give this a like if you have enjoyed it. I've got, I'm get, getting more subscribers which is exciting, I've got 120, 
So if you are a person who is subscribed to me, I would like to say a massive thank you. I really do appreciate it. It makes me feel nice on the inside. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. I just whacked my nail, but it's okay. It survived. <laughs>